Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My um, name is Theodora Fischer, and I'm welcoming you to our talk with Tobias Rehberger. The reason why we are here is the wall installation Tobias created spe specifically for this wall and this room, and which was installed a couple of days ago. We are very happy and we are grateful to you and your team that you, this could happen. To celebrate this very special work, Tobias Rehberger agreed in a talk and we decided that the subject for our conversation will be camouflage, camouflage as a technique and as a concept. Let me first introduce the artist only very briefly. He was born in 1966 in Esslingen, Germany. In the, from 87 to 93, he studied with Tobias Beile and Martin Kippenberger in Frankfurt Städelschule, where he has been professor of sculpture since 2001 and since a couple of years also deputy director. Rehberger's work has developed continuously over the last 20 years, moving between sculpture, installation, architecture, and design. He creates self-contained objects as well as site-specific designs and light installations for interior as well as exterior spaces. Many of his infrastructures and objects lend themselves not only for viewing, by eye, but they actually directly address our sensory and behavioral routines as viewers, passerby, and users. If one would have to characterize the main aspect and characteristic of his work, it is its in-between position, the moving of his work between sculpture, installation, architecture, art and life, outdoor and indoor. To achieve this position, Tobias Rehberger has developed formal and conceptual techniques. One of them is the camouflage. We all know the famous cafe you created for the Venice Pin Biennial in 2009 and for which you were awarded the Golden Lion Award. Was this the first time you were using camouflage as a pattern? In the, in the work itself, oops. In the work itself, uh, it was the first time. I uh, was interested in it as, as a concept and, uh, um, and uh, as a technique for a couple of years already. And uh, actually the the, the basic idea for the, uh, for the uh, cafe bar in Venice, I kind of already had in the drawer. And I was kind of waiting for uh, an occasion to use, uh, uh, to use that. Um, but uh, the idea was always uh, that I wanted it not to be used in a typical art space, not in a gallery and not in a in a museum space, but uh, in a kind of a, a, f a functional context. It could have been a gas station or a supermarket or a bar or an office. Um, and when Daniel Birnbaum, who was the curator then for the biennial, asked me if I would be interested to do something with the, with the cafeteria that they anyways had to rebuild and renovate because uh, the pavilion, uh, the, the former Italian pavilion, which is now the international pavilion, had, uh, had to be renovated anyways. Uh, so we also could do certain kind of architectural, um, in, uh, um, architectural uh, moves or differences. Um, I had it kind of already, it was already there. But why, what was your interest in camouflage? Um, Actually, 
originally. The, the, the original interest is, was not the camouflage uh, as a, uh, in general that kind of developed uh, uh, out of that. It was the interest in a certain type of camouflage, which is called uh, Dessel painting, and it was invented by um, um, actually British artists uh, in, during the First World War to camouflage uh, battleships. And the difference between the normal...